We're glad you're with us tonight. I'm Chelsea Barton. Thanks for joining us. Thieves are at it again this holiday season, recently targeting a rural volunteer fire department in Greene County. Here's what happened there. It's pretty bad to work as hard as you do, trying to do something for the community. And something like this happens. Vandals caused structural damage to the Gina Volunteer Fire Department during a break-in last week. Thousands of dollars worth of life-saving equipment was stolen. We have um, rescue tools that we got on a grant. It was around $20,000. Uh, they stole the batteries off of them. When we got the rescue tools, it was the very first week we got them, we, we put them to work. So they're not something that just sits around. One of the things they took was an inverter. So the inverter, you have to drive the truck to town to get the inverter put on. So uh, uh, above and beyond the $1,000 to have it installed, you then have to take a day off, you know, to get this truck. To, it's just, it's just a hassle. <laughs> Colby Hamner with Gina Volunteer Fire says their community did not even have a fire department until 2012, and they worked hard to establish it. The people in the community really put forth the effort in the beginning to start having the meetings and figure out what do we need to do to get a fire department. We had an a individual that passed from something that they should not have. It was something that basic first aid could have prevented, and they didn't want that to happen again. And that was the reason it was started. So once you you know, you put in all this time, you know, it's just like, golly, it's just like a slap in the face. The break in happened sometime between the night of Tuesday, November 23rd and the afternoon of Saturday, November 27th. If anyone saw anything, obviously say something. Um, if someone's trying to sell you a chainsaw, especially if it's got Gina Fire Department on it, that's a dead giveaway. Um, you know, we'd like the, the name and, and the person that did it, we'd like to you know, we'd like to have our stuff back. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to end up costing us somewhere around $10,000. The Greene County Sheriff's Office is investigating this case. Hamner says he just wants those who stole from his department to do the right thing. It seems like everybody wants to do the right thing. I would, I would like to say that about especially my fellow community people, but uh, you would think everyone would want to do the right thing. And the right thing to do would be to bring it back. Um, we'll see. And if you'd like to assist the Gina Volunteer Fire Department in their repairs or in replacing their stolen equipment, checks can be sent to Post Office Box 129, Fosters, Alabama 35463.